Good morning, good people. My name is Waki Saston from Major Animation Studio, and today I'll be showing you how to make or create this gray hair, an old man hair in Brenda. It's a quick tutorial. Let's start. First of all, I'm gonna delete the hair that we've created. So the first step is to create our the line or our area that will emit your hair from so from there you come to faces SAA vets or faces you select the area that you need to emit your hair then you will come to this area mark at it at the group like I've created that it's a head Hair group, let me call hair group. Then assign it. If I select it, it's hair group assigned. So from there, you come to this tab that is what we call particle properties, and then you come to add your hair. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into details how to comb to do the hair, but I'll use this setup that I've created the eyelids yeah so I'll come here and choose yeah new scene and then I'll name it then to come to tumbo tumbo here and bump it to come down here on our feed weight here not feed weight some, some I don't know vertex group uh, density I choose to it was something here hair group then here here so if you do this I come to here on top on emission I will increase the hair rings see the rinses they are very short so I think this is enough mm. too long I think this is good so this is our style I'm not, I say it as I said that I'm not going to into details how to create this kind of style because I have a lot of tutorial you can check it on top to follow how to create this kind of hairstyle then the in focus is how to create the gray hair in our shader editor then I'll come here on shading and uh, so I'll start with new one I'll add material then I'll name it as hair or Gray. Gray. Gray here. Yeah. I don't need this principle BSDF. What I need is, yeah, on our shader is principle here BSDF this one and uh, I need direct carrying I connect here to my surface then the issue here is how are we going to get the here let me let Google it it is gray Yeah, old come to image. Let me use Morgan Freeman and let me choose this one and this one and this one.
so you see how the gray hair looks like you have a lot of white hair and uh, some sort of black a lot of white hair and some sort of black you can see you can find a uh, reference image on the internet and uh, here we have another reference we have a lot of white hair some so they are not that pure white and the uh, black ones and uh, here we have like a, a gradient we come from white then they start to fade into black and uh, here we have white and uh, black so this is what we are be doing creating so first of all we need to have our color ramp then i come here vector it is converter and choose color ramp. the color i connect to color of direct hair bit bsdf and let me choose to render go to render here you will see the difference so it is gray here as you see we don't see any kind of effect here because we are not assigned this uh, hair into to affect the hair strain so we'll come to into our hair particle here and then we'll go to our render here render you see the material is on gozi 003 so we need to ch change it to hair it is gray hair here you see how it change so here on color lamp we adjust how much you want the black how much you want the white so i move here like this but you don't see i see you won't see any the difference here But what we need to do is have our input. You come to our hair info. If you select your, your hair info, you can choose either to use intercept, either to use random. So I'll go with random. I'll plug my random into factor of our color. Voila. You see the effect. So from here, you can change either you want black, you can slide it and you'll get some sort of white there. And uh, if you want total white, you can slide it all white to black. You see, you get this, this kind of effect. But I want the even one, the middle. I want some sort of black and some sort of white. So I put them into the middle here. And I don't want this pure white, pure black. So I change it to here. You see the difference and uh, I don't want here pure white and uh, I'll change here I'll change the color just a little bit so this is what you get and uh, even you can use let me try to using a uh, here come to vector and then you come to um, map range Put 0.5 here. You see, now you get a lot of black and some of white. And uh, if you put it to one, it's all black and just a tip white. Then I put 2.2 
and uh, here let me try to decrease 0 0.5 to 0 let me try to let me try to 1 it does not refer 2 2 So this is how you can create gray hair. And um, okay, let me flip the window, but as you see and uh, if you can just look at just a single tip I think you can see how they look and uh, here, <coughs> you see, let me come to here to my hair and the uh, hair shape. Let me decrease the tip to point one. You see how the tip become very small. So this is how you can create your gray hair, the hair of old man into Brenda. This is one of the tricks. So thank you for listening and you can like, subscribe and turn notification bell. Thank you. Ciao. So as you have seen, this is the creation of uh, the hair scalp of an old man. It's a quick time lapse. Simple and clear and fast. You can choose the setup and uh, you can apply the same hair shader that I have used previous and you get and uh, here you can move this vet to this point. No, 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 no. Let me enable to this point. And here I think they are very backward. So thank you. And stay tuned for more tutorials. So thank you for listening and you can like, subscribe and turn notification bell. Thank you. Ciao.